Barbara from allbrands.com, and I'm so excited to be with you here today. We are going to be talking about Brother My Design Center with Colleen Sweatman, and it's going to be tons of fun, super informative. So you have these amazing technology from Brother, and you can make your own designs. Why go out and buy um, every particular design you want when you can just build it in your own machine? So we're going to learn that awesome, awesome feature today. I hope everybody's doing good. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, let us know what machine you have. Do you have my design center? Have you used it before? Hey, Marva, she, uh, congratulations, Marva, and you reminded me. So <laughs> Marva was our winner last week for our $100 allbrands.com e-gift card. So how do you be eligible? How are you eligible to win? Um, all you have to do is like, comment, and share, or subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And all of those things just ups your chances for winning. So good luck. We will announce the winner at the end of the video today. So I hope you really enjoy this presentation. Hey, Sandra, oh my gosh, it's so good to see everyone and Marva and Laura. Oh my goodness. Well, we're in for a treat today. So let's go ahead and bring in Colleen Sweatman, Brother National Educator. Hi, hey. Barbara's already introduced me, so I don't have to say my name again. But I'm <laughs> so excited to be here with you all today. And we've got some fun, exciting things to show you in my design center. And then just a couple of extra little tricks. I have to tell you a secret about my design center, Barbara, that you may not know. And that is that some of our 10 needle owners don't know they have it. And I see them at shows and they said it didn't come on my machine. And it really did. They just don't know how to activate it. But I'm going to tell them the secret. Yes, I love learning secrets. <laughs> a good secret. Are you ready? Yeah. First of all, I wanted to let everyone know, just a reminder, like, comment, share, subscribe to win the $100 e-gift card. Um, but we have an amazing special on these machines until, I believe, April 6th. Um, it is the spring gift guide from Brother. So I wanted to let everybody know about the special on the machine that you will be showing everyone. So if they don't have this machine, um, they know what amazing offers they can get. So let's just pull up that slide for just a moment. So with this machine currently until, I'm sorry, April 5th, and the year is 2021. So if you're watching this in 2022 or later, um, <laughs> this is, it is expired. And this is one of the best deals I've ever seen on this machine. Normally 60 months is the big deal. That's the Houston Quilt Show special. Um, but right now you can finance this machine for 72 months, 0% financing. You get um, the amazing specials that already come in the box um, and on our product page. Plus, we're going to throw in a 100 uh, thread set, which is the Brother Pace Setter thread. It's an amazing quality. You'll love it. And there is a rebate for a laptop. So please don't... Uh, don't miss out on this special deal if you're interested in getting a machine with um, my design center. So Paula, let us know, do you have this machine? Who has the, uh, the 10 needle? So we can bring us, we can bring uh, Colleen and I back on screen. Wonderful. Hi. Have you ever seen a special like that before? No. No, I was sitting here with, I was glad I wasn't on screen because my mouth was open. <laughs> that yeah. was really an awesome special. And boy, I would, I would say grab it and go because this is a wonderful, wonderful machine. I think this is what? a once in a lifetime. I've worked here for, oh my gosh, it's my, about my 15th year full time and since high school before that. Um, on weekends, and I have never seen a special like this. And, and I, I just, I, I can't believe that Brother's doing this. It just, it blows my mind. <laughs> and with a machine of this capability, 
Yeah. So let's get into this capability uh, of okay. my design center. One of the things that you and I talked about, Barbara, was the projection because they don't always know how to place things. And yes, we have scanning. But let me show you this little trick. I'm, I've got a little kiddo's apron in here and I want to add a name to it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch on the screen and type in some letters. Guess I better go to the right place on the screen, hadn't I? And we're just going to type in, since this is for my granddaughter, we'll just type in her name, right? There we go. That's her nickname. So we're going to set it. Oh, let me put you on screen so you can see it. That's why I had it on screen. So I'm going to type that in. Now, just a couple of tricks in case you don't know this. You can always go up here to edit and touch this letter, the T. And you can come down here and you can choose a different font. And your whole word will change over to the new font. So I'm going to just change that. Oh, isn't that fun? That's a cuter one for a little girl. And then you can size it and space it and do all kinds of things. The sizing is just right, so I'm going to leave it alone and set it. Now, here is the coolest part of all. I can go to embroidery, and right up here is this little cone-looking thing. And if you touch that, you heard my machine make a motion, and it's going to move. And in a second, I'll switch to the hoop so you can see the hoop. I'm going to switch to the hoop. So you can see that Izzy, can you see her right here? It's right on top of the lettering. Well, that's not very good at all. So we'll just move it down. And we just use our arrow keys to move it down. And there it is. Is that magic? So fast, so easy, perfect placement, and you can see it. So you know exactly where it's gonna stitch. I find that pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. That Thank is you. amazing. I agree I with no you. <laughs> that is fantastic. Thank you. I will take my bow for making you perfect. No, just <laughs> kidding. Can we get an applause, please? That's yes, that, really. No other machine can do that projection on an embroidery machine. Hello. Well, and it's so fast. I don't even know how they think of these things, but but obviously. Oh, and I didn't tell you this. That was a white apron, and so when I first pulled it up, I couldn't see it. Well, that's because I hadn't chosen the white background. I had it on a black background. So you can even choose different colors. I love that. So cool. So now we're going to go to something that's a brand new and exciting. Well, it's not brand new, but it's still really, really exciting. I'm going to take you over here to the screen with me. And right down here, we have a feature called My Design Center. And what My Design Center is, in all honesty, it's a digitizing program. It just comes built into your machine. So what it can do for you is actually digitize different things. So it can turn your drawing into something. Now, I'm going to put a little grid on mine because I'm not very good at being straight. So there's a little grid. I'm going to grab my pencil, and I'm just going to write my name. Now, are you ready? I'm going to. Tell it that I want to change the color and I want to change the stitch and I want it to be stitched out in blue. And guess what? Next, set, and there it is. Can you see that on screen? Well, guess what? I have it for you in real life. Can you see that? It's not fun. So what happens for me is I take bags with things in them when I go to shows and events, and then sometimes they get misplaced. But when the bag has my own handwriting on, it's less likely to get lost. Didn't I use my nice words for that? So um, that's one of the fun things. Here's another one. My grandson was coming. Let's see if I hold this right here like this. There we go. My grandson was coming to visit, and it was his first time away from home by himself. So I took his handwriting from homework, and I turned it into his pillowcase. And when he came in, he saw it on his bed, and he was so excited. Is that just fun? 
And those were simple, 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 easy things to do, but you can also do it with scanning. You can also just draw and design on the screen yourself. So let's go back to my design center. I don't want the grid in there now, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I'm going to scan something in. So there's three different ways that I can do this. And I'm gonna hold this guy right up. I took this flower out of our Canvas workspace, which is a free program, and I printed it. And now we're gonna turn it into an embroidery. It's very, very difficult. Please don't blink. Okay, wait, I'm kidding. So there's, there's this little fern right here. And if you touch the fern, you have three different things you can do. An image scan takes a picture and you have a picture. So that's cool. A line design turns it into a design that can be easily turned into an embroidery design. That's my happy place. That's where I live. The third one is an illustration scan. So it actually scans the fabric, the drawing, the whatever it is that you have and digitizes it to be stitched out. And when we get over to the 10 needle, I'll show you one that I did on the 10 needle that I did that way and is stitched out. But for right now, I wanna to go to line design cause that's my happy place. I'm gonna tell it to scan. I'm gonna tell it okay. And it's going to scan really quickly and put that image right up there on the screen for me to work with. Are you excited about this yet? I, I wish I could hear your voices because I find this so exciting. Hey, Colleen. I love this. I have to tell you. I get, I get, I get my, my <laughs> Maybe we can meet her. Mute me. Okay, Colleen, I muted you for just a moment so I could tell you, and I hope you can hear me, um, that I actually, I have my pick of any machine uh, in the store, and I actually, I, I have two machines at my home, and this is one of them, the Luminaire XP2. Uh, well, actually, mine's the XP1 because I purchased that one when it was the newest one, um, and I own the 10 needle PR1055X and they are phenomenal and this feature guys you're really um going to be amazed how you can scan something in and then convert it to stitches so back to colleen hi can you hear me yes okay yes so there is my design and I can just crop it out just real quickly. I want to get rid of all the stuff I'm not going to use. So I just use these little arrow keys to get rid of all the extra stuff. And there it is. Now, down here, I'm going to explain this grayscale thing because it's kind of a big deal and most people don't get it right. So what it's telling you is it did a good job of looking at the picture, but it wants to know if you need the picture to be darker or lighter. So if you need the picture to be darker, you tell it that you're looking at it as lighter. So you just touch the lighter and the picture becomes darker. Okay? That's because it's interpreting the color. So here we go, it's ready. We're gonna set it. Now right up here, I don't like this background showing, so I'm just gonna touch the fern and the background will go away. The nice thing about that is I can bring it back at any time and I can make it darker or lighter. If I need to add details or draw, I have that ability. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little flower and kind of move it down to the center-ish. And I'm just gonna start filling it. So first of all, let's do our outlines. So there's my outlines. And I don't think I want a satin stitch. So I'm gonna to touch those choices. And you can see I have eight nice choices. That's not really true because if you come down here and you touch this guy, you get the word select and then you have 10 nice choices. Well, realistically speaking for today, I just want that nice triple stitch. So I'm gonna use that nice triple stitch and I'm gonna use hot pink. And I'm just gonna touch my outline. And here's a trick that I always, always mess up on. If you use the pencil, you just get a little dot. If you use the bucket, the whole thing changes. Now my little flower petals 
are individuals, so they have to be touched individually. That totally makes sense, doesn't it? So now we're ready to fill it. And I could make it a little bit bigger so it would be easier for you to see. Is that better? Okay, now we're going to go down here to the bucket and the paintbrush. The paintbrush means we're not just doing little fine details. It means we're ready to go with this. So we're going to do bigger details. And I'm going to choose that paint bucket. And I'm going to choose my list. And I have, that's a fill stitch. We know that's got to be stippling. But what is behind door number three? Oh, my goodness. Here are some of the most spectacular fills. And you can use them as background fills. You can use them as quilting. You can use them as all kinds of fun things. I'm trying to look and see which one I did for you because I have a finished one. But I can't figure out which one it is. So I'll just choose that guy. And I think he should be pink, don't you? And then we're just going to touch in and fill the spaces. Nope, I don't want that one touched. There we go. And there we go. I've touched all the little spaces except for that one. Now I want the center to be bright, shiny yellow. So I'm going to just pick yellow and fill. And there we go. Now, are you ready? This is a hard part. You're going to touch next. And this lets you choose. Now, I have a lot of segments there, and I would have to choose every single one of them. And I don't really want to do that. That looks kind of boring to me. So I'm going to look at the flowers right here, and I'm going to chain it. And so the machine collected all of those petals for me at once. And I'm going to tell it to make the changes to all of them. I want it sized very, very small. And it's making them all very, very small. And I can change the angle. This would uh, change if it had an outline, which I don't. This one will distort it. This one is the most powerful key. It allows you to align. So if you were uh, not a, if your design wasn't aligned the way you liked it, vertically or horizontally, you can realign it. I've actually never had to use this icon, but I'm glad it's there. It always does such a stupendous job that I don't worry about it. And then this one is how many times? Three times or one time? Well, one time is all I want for this flower because it's pretty small. I'm going to touch OK. I'm going to touch Set. Now it's warning me, this is going to be converted to embroidery and my design center is going to be exited. Do you want to continue to the next screen? It's okay for me because I've saved this on a previous time. If you haven't, then just touch cancel and memory and save it so that you know that you have it. Now this time you can go forward and feel safe. Now it's in the embroidery mode and there's my colors and it's all ready to stitch. And through the magic of brother technology, there it is stitched. Isn't that sweet? I thought that was so cute. So that's just a fun, fun thing that you can do. Okay, I'm trying to talk fast so that I make sure I get in everything that I wanted to get in. One of the features that I kind of skipped over in the beginning I'm going to go back and show you now, and it's, well, I'm going to show you the good side first, and then I'm going to show you the bad side. You don't ever have goobers, do you? You never have a mistake? Uh-oh, mine just popped out of the hoop. All right, I'm going to show you the bottom of this. See how beautiful those princesses are, and the quilting around them is so gorgeous? Okay, now you get to see true confessions, you get to take she looked like in the beginning. See the top row? See how there's no quilting around them? Well, they were gorgeous and wonderful when I made the quilt, but it's been washed and it's traveled. And can you see how there's little bitty wrinkles because there was no support to her? So what you can do with the very first one of those programs, I'm going to go back to my design center and show you one more time. This one right here, image scan. You can scan in a hooped picture like my little princess. 
and you can add embroidered quilting around her perfectly, just like this one is. Is that, I mean, if you don't find that amazing, I'm stunned. Because to me, that was just life changing. How many old quilts or old things do you have around your house that you wish you could do something with to spark them up? What do you think about that one? Is that a good one? I hate it that I'm not there. Yes. Oh my gosh, Colleen. That is gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? And we forgot to mention, we're looking at all of those beautiful Disney characters on your quilt. Uh, the Brother XP2 Luminaire that you're showing has, um, it's got the little Disney logo on it, meaning that it has exclusive, Brother has exclusive rights to um, put the Disney authorized uh, embroidery designs on the machine. And there's also Disney sewing stitches. And we're just talking about embroidery. I well, love it. But there are sewing stitches too. It is a pretty amazing machine actually, isn't it? Yeah, so we showed so far, Disney Designs, you scanned an image to make it into stitches on your machine. You put quilting fills in that image and modified it. Oh my gosh, and it has a projector that will project the stitches on your fabric before you even make a stitch. It's phenomenal. It's kind of impressive, huh? It's the best machine in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> I may so be biased point. because it's mine and I love it. Um, but yes, it, it's definitely uh, an amazing machine. It really does. Uh, what I love about it, besides the fact that it is an impressive and wonderful machine, is that I'll, I'll look at you and talk to you. It's ease of use. Everything that I've shown you, we've been showing you on screen, and you can see that it's a simple process. You touch and you fill. You touch and you fill. You write on the screen. It comes with a stylus, but I write on the screen with my finger because my finger's easier for me to control. I always know where it is. Sometimes I put the stylus down and I don't know where it is, even though it has a holding place. <laughs> I still put it down and don't know where it is. Um, so let's see. How are we doing for time? Do I need to start to move to the 10 needle or do I have time we for... We have a little bit more time for the, we have about five more minutes that we okay. can spend on the XP2 Luminaire. But I wanted to bring in uh, Jerry's question because she asks, can the Luminaire be upgraded? Yes. So yes, I have, the, yes, it can. And that's what's so great about Brother uh, embroidery machines and uh, is that they come out with software upgrades to the machine so that you don't have to buy a new model. Um, so this is the, the XP2 is the second, um, the second generation of the Luminaire line. So yes, uh, if you have the first generation, you can definitely upgrade it to be a uh, Luminaire XP2. Good question. And that was a good question. And I popped the picture of my machine up there because mine is an XP1, but it has been upgraded. So it has all of the features of the XP2. So if there was an XP2 feature that you needed to see, it is on this machine. So that's one of the things that Brother does to keep people happy because we, we always like new stuff. So what I've popped up here is a just a big piece of fabric. And what I wanted to show you is this, new, this other little trick. So I'm going to take you back to the screen. Um, there we go. And we're going to go back into my design center. And remember right up here, the, the fern, the fern is the key to what you want to do. So the first fern again was just to take a picture. I'm not going to, uh, you know, just to have that picture to work from. The second one was the one where I was actually digitizing. And the third one is illustration. So illustration is kind of magical. So I'm going to touch it. And I probably should have put this in a smaller hoop barber because it's going to scan for quite a while and I don't have a small hoop handy. So you may want to mute me again while it scans. 
Okay, so while um, you're muted, I'm just gonna let everyone know this machine has a 16 and 5 eighths inch by, oh my goodness, what is it? Uh, 10 and 5 eighths by 16 uh, embroidery area on it. It's humongous. I can literally hula hoop with the embroidery area. So that's something definitely you wanna consider um, when you're uh, selecting an embroidery machine is the hoop size because you definitely don't want to be um, limited there. You can embroider um, a very large space. Your timing was excellent. So now on my screen, you can see that I have a, a Mickey Mouse character. So I don't use this for, um, you'll see what I use it for when we get to the PR. Because I use this as a companion piece to make, usually I'll do it with um, fabric that maybe I've made something and I want a matching pocket. So I'll show you when we get to the PR. But here is just a little character. And I'm going to touch, okay, it says down here that I can, I can have 10 colors, okay, and this one's pretty detailed and pretty dark, so I'm going to tell it, all right, and it's thinking. So what it's going to do is going to just blow your mind, if you haven't seen this before. Barbara, have you seen this one before? Oh, um. <laughs> what was the question, Colleen? Have you seen this before? Have you seen this feature before? Yes. Okay. So what I use it all the time. I, I gotta Ooh. say, I, I, I'm obsessed with this machine, Colleen. <laughs> Most people haven't seen this one. And what it did, what you're looking at is a digitized design. It took a piece of that fabric and turned it into a digitized design. Now, this is a dark color fabric, which seems to come out not quite as pretty as the lighter colors. Uh, and part of that's the lighting in this room also. But uh, I'll show you it again on the, on the PR, and you'll see it just is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing that it can do. So were there any questions about how to do that? In. Uh, and you can always edit right. it. So yeah, um, um, let's bring me in full screen and we'll uh, do a little bit of Q&A um, before we transfer to the multi-needle. Um, so we did get a question from Lucy about upgrading, um, about how long are the upgrades available after the new models come out. Um, I would say generally about five years um, is the product life cycle of the generations of machines from what I've seen in the past. There's no like guarantee, of course, but um, we're on uh, generation two of the Luminaire. So if you invest early, then you'll be able to upgrade it even more throughout the product life cycle there. So um, coming from a good answer, <laughs> and, and I will have to admit, <laughs> I ran into someone not too long ago that wanted an upgrade for the last machine and they're gone. Mm. So, so, but sometimes you can find dealers that have inventory. Maybe it may not be available, uh, but we we do order a lot of inventory. So if you're looking for an upgrade for your machine, definitely give us a call and check to see if we have it in stock because we do um, we do have inventory of some older um, upgrades from machines back in the day. <laughs> so that's good for me to know. <laughs> and Eileen says, what do you do with the new Mickey scan design? Is it stitchable or can you do echo quilting around it? Yes, to both. It is stitchable and you can add echo quilting around it. Oh, and you, I love it. Don't you love it with a yes answer? <laughs> yeah, well, with brother, it's always yes, I've noticed. Um, <laughs> because nice. they just make it, they make it very easy for you to achieve success. And um, it's just, this is the best embroidery machine that you can buy. So um, don't miss your chance for the best offer I've ever seen in my life um, on the best machine that's uh, I have available to agree. on the market. I will tell you a little secret about Brother, and that is that they listen. 
So if you ask them for a specific feature or how a feature, we're oftentimes when people ask about how a feature, or how something works, it, it's actually already in the machine. They just didn't know it. But if you have something that you think is a really good idea, submit it. They'll consider it. And they do. I and love they it. Do. Yes, they do. And they have great educators. So thank you, Colleen, Aww. for that amazing <laughs> presentation. I think right now um, we're talking, we're still talking about my design center. So if you have a luminaire, stick through um, to the end because she's just going to be showing the same, um, I guess, program, but it's on the multi needle uh, PR 1055 X tubular I'm arm and ordering. tricks. New so tricks. Even though it's on See, I didn't show them every trick here. I oh. saved some tricks in the bucket for when we got to the PR. So the PR people wouldn't be disappointed. <laughs> You're so, so crafty. Oh, I am. <laughs> in more ways I than one. School all those years for nothing. So yeah. I'm going to switch over to the PR. And Wonderful. And then we're going to talk about it. But some things that we're showing you on the PR were over here. You just didn't get to see them yet. Got it. So we're going to go ahead and do a recap of that special on the XP2 Luminaire and uh, bring that up on the screen. So this is the amazing deal that we have going on now. So don't miss your chance on the XP2 Luminaire. Um, so it's the other slide. Here we go. That one. Yes, this is the XP2 Luminaire. And guess what? 72 months, 0% financing through Synchrony Financial. If you have a sewing and more card um, and it says, uh, it doesn't matter who the dealer at the bottom says on it. You can use that at at any uh, sewing machine dealer that accepts the uh, synchrony financing. Um, and if you pay off early, um, that's totally fine. Um, but it gives you definitely some, some leeway there. 72 months really gets that monthly payment down to a very, very affordable rate. Um, and also the thread set and you get the rebate for a laptop and all of the amazing included accessories with the, this machine. So um, give us a call, 866-255-2726, um, and uh, ask for your closest allbrands.com retail store to get this special. Um, and just, just don't miss your chance because this is expiring on April 5th, 2021. So let's transition to the PR 1055 slide because this is the machine that Colleen is going to be talking about next. I actually own both of these. I love them. They're great for different things. The XP2 is an amazing sewing machine, but this one, the PR 1055 X is a 10 needle embroidery machine. It is a professional machine. It's super fast. If you're doing a lot of embroidery, hard to hoop items, this is the machine for you. But guess what? If you're a quilter, you can totally do uh, quilting in the hoop embroidery. Uh, it's just so fantastic. So Colleen, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Not quite yet. Okay, so let's go and we'll ask, we'll answer some questions. If you could just bring me in full screen. And let's see, Deborah, oh my gosh, Deborah and Martin here. Oh, look, Dawn, is there a difference between the licensing? If the, is there a difference in the licensing? I need to put my glasses on. Sorry, guys. The licensing between the design on the machine and the design you buy from Brother. So, that's a very good question, Dawn. So any Disney design that you are going to get from Brother um, is going to be either a built-in design on the machine, or you can uh, download uh, designs from www.ibroidery.com. That's the letter I and then broidery. Dot com. Maybe we can put that as a banner on the bottom um, so that people can see that. Um, www.ibroidery.com. So basically, if you own a Brother machine with the exception of a 10 needle, because that's considered a professional machine, it's used by people um, that are in 
businesses um, and you can't profit on bis on Disney designs, but you can make unlimited Disney designs and, and give them as gifts and for personal use. So um, the licensing of the Disney designs are all licensed by Disney. I hope that answers your question, Dawn. Okay, so let's see. Marilyn, does the machine also have the same camera that is in the Dream Machine? It has the same camera, but it's like super duper duper upgraded. And now with the XP2, there's even an app that, um, and the XP1, where you can, instead of waiting for it to scan, remember how I had to talk while she was scanning? You can snap a picture with your phone, send that to your machine, and um, bring it into my design center for editing. So you're super, super uh, flexible there. It's, it's mega upgraded. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Colleen is ready. We are going to transfer back to her and Hi. talk about the 10 needle. Yes, the 10 needle is great. And they changed a lot. Of, they never bring out the same machine with the same stuff. You know, they put new stuff on it. So it was a big upgrade, just like Barbara said. So here is, whoops, here is what we're going to do now. This is the scan mat for the PR. So, of course, it mounts a little differently. And we're just going to come right over here and touch that camera for just a second while I get this attached. And this one has a little trick to it. And I'll tell you what the secret is. I promised him some secrets, didn't I? Okay, so this guy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him to go ahead. And of course, I can write on the screen just exactly like I did with the other um, machine. I can come right up here and I can just touch it. And there's my screen again. I can write on the screen, but you don't need to see me do that again. But now what I want it to do is I want it to scan a line image because I want to create a design for you. So I'm going to touch line image and the word scan, and it tells me it's going to scan. And it's stopping for a reason. And the reason is that the needle plate cover is not on. And the reason that it wants the needle plate cover on, and the needle plate cover is right. I'm trying to find the best camera to show you here. The needle plate camera stores right here on the frame. And the needle plate cover covers up the needle plate when it's scanning so it gets a perfect scan so it doesn't get too much light or darkness. So I love, do. Colleen, that the machine will tell you anytime you do something incorrectly <laughs> so that you uh, don't run into any roadblocks. That's one of my favorite things about these. Well, you know, I would be the one who screwed it up because I would be the one who forgot. So I'm always so happy. Now I can just tell it, okay, and then I'm going to tell it to scan, and it's going to go ahead and scan. But I love, I love that too, Barbara, that it lets me know. Now, I promised to tell you a secret about this. And let me see, where am I going to stand? Okay. I promised to tell you a secret about this, and I will. What was the secret I was going to tell you? It went out of my head. Hmm. It'll come back, I promise. It'll circle by the fish tank. So while it's scanning and getting a beautiful picture up here for me to work with, we will get ready with our plan for what we're going to do. And I want to show you some finished stuff. This guy is really, really competent. Um, very, very efficient. So it's just about finished with this scan. And that's a big page to scan. And here we go. I'm going to go back to that camera so I can stand out of your way and you can see it and we're just going to crop this guy right down here to the middle and of course every once in a while there's some naughty little fish parts that don't crop out completely so it's okay you just tell it all right and then I'm going to cross out of the way because I cannot do this with my right with the other hand so I'm going to tell it to go ahead because it looks like it's dark enough. And that looks a little confusing. So we're just going to turn off that background image again. 
and we're going to grab that eraser and just make it a little bit bigger because it shows me right here what size I've got. Well, I've got some serious erasing to do, so I want a bigger eraser. I want to plow through this pretty quickly. I know you can't see through my finger, but you can see that everything is gone now. So we're going to tell it it's okay. We're going to make it bigger so that you can see it. Because we're going to learn a new trick here. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to choose an outline. And I think we're just going to go with a triple stitch because it looks really nice and probably in black because that's appropriate for Mr. Fish. And then just make sure everything gets touched here. Okay, even the interior stuff. All righty. Now, let's start filling him. So I'm going to choose the fill stitches. And notice they're just in a little bit different place, but you can tell because the line is the line and the fill is a box. So we're going to go to the fill and the checklist that always tells you where things are. We have a fill, we have stippling, and then we have our gorgeous um, quilting backgrounds or, or textured backgrounds. And we're not going to go through all of these. There is a million of them in here again. We're going to go back and choose the fill. And we're going to choose a bright orange because this is kind of an orange fish. We're going to do something that probably isn't going to make sense at first, but that's okay. Whoops. I do that every time. Just undo it and touch the bucket. Someday I promise I'll learn to do that right. I don't know when it'll be. Okay, now you're thinking that's really kind of a boring fish. And I would agree with you, except that we're going to do some changes to him. So maybe, I'll, I'll tell you what, I am going to change the color just to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to put in some yellow just for contrast. When you see the finished fish, you'll understand. Now, here's the secret. So far, our digitizing has pretty much just been coloring book digitizing. And, and I'm always careful about coloring books because you do have to mind for the copyrights. So lots of times it's better to just go and get a copyright free clip art. There's a million of those on the web and you can use those. If you're using something from a coloring book, then it's only for personal use. So just remember the rules of the game and don't get yourself in trouble. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to next. And I'm not going to worry about finishing all this because this is the important part that I wanted to show you. I'm going to choose that section right there. And it has made an auto arrangement for me. And that's fine. It usually does a really good job. But I want to do it manually. So it was at 45 degrees. I actually want this one to be at 75. Now there's a reason. I'm not crazy. I'm going to tell it OK. I'm going to keep it at 100%. I'm going to keep its pull comp. Do you think I need underlay? Oh, yeah, I do. So I'm going to turn the underlay on, and it's going to do under sewing. That's pretty cool. Now let's go back, and let's touch the yellow. Is the yellow selected? Let's go back here. No, I want to let's select the tail. There we go. That's a clearer, easier to see piece. Again, auto is selected. I'm going to go to manual and I'm going to change the angle and I'm going to change it to 90 degrees. And you're wondering why I'm doing this because she's got to be crazy. Again, I'm going to add underlay. And I'm going to tell it OK. So what was all that about? Let me show you the reason. Here's Mr. Fish. Does it look like I have three colors of yellow for my fish? Can you see the difference? I don't. I've used one spool of thread. What makes the difference in the way your eye sees the color? If you say it's the angle of the stitching, 
you are right. So simply changing the angle of the stitching can completely change the look of the fish and give it texture and a whole new look. Is that pretty simple? And then of course I just popped in a quilted background because that's one of my choices. And the machine is so smart, it just turned it right around the fish and not on top of him, of course. Isn't that amazing? I just love this guy because he always catches so much attention <laughs> because he looks dimensional. And it's it's one, one, just one little color of thread, but you can see how that changes as the light reflects on it. So you really, really get a difference. And that's because of the twist in the thread. So uh, that brother thread that you're getting, that's some pretty nice thread. Okay, let me show you another little trick. This is a new trick. And hey, Colleen. Gonna... Colleen, what? for a second, um, we do have a few, we have a lot of amazed. Uh, I think we have some jaws dropped <laughs> from I watching. That. I like that. Jaws. <laughs> But I wanted to address Mary Garcia had a very good idea, um, which um, the answer is yes, absolutely, Mary. And she asks, so would I be able to scan my grandchild's drawing and then embroider it? Just want to be sure I'm understanding this correctly. Yes, Mary, so that absolutely. Was, that wasn't just a yes, Barbara. That was a capital Y-E-S. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> yes. Yes, well, she must not have been watching when I showed her my grandson's handwriting. <laughs> and that's, that's what I did. Idea. I, just, I just scanned it right on that board and popped it right up into the machine. Because he doesn't live close enough to help. Is that cool? I'm excited for you. I can't wait to see her grandson's handwriting or grandchild's handwriting. All right, so let's go on to a new trick here. This is, <laughs> excuse my cough, also done in my design center. So I'm gonna show you first and then we'll have it do it. So this is obviously a piece of fabric, right? It's pretty soft and wimpy. Here it is stitched out. Are you impressed? I wish I had feedback. Um, so what I find exciting about this is that when you do designs that have lighter, brighter colors and open spaces, you get a much, much more beautiful layout. Colleen, that is amazing. And there's, I, cool? I'm getting so many ideas of how you can take a fabric scan it and make it an embroidery design and just have it be a collection of um, coordinating items either in your decor or however you wish to do that. Linda says, my mouth is open, impressed. Wow, amazing, beautiful ideas. Wow, 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 oh, wow, whoa, <laughs> and gorgeous. So okay. yeah, there's some feedback uh, for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm just, I'm alone in my sewing room. So. One of the things that I found fascinating, this is this one is an illustration design again, and we're going to scan it, and you're going to see the fabrics pop up. But what I find so exciting about this in particular is that you could have, uh, you know, maybe a shirt, and you wanted a little designer pocket to go with it, or on a tote bag or something, and just so quickly and easily you can create that. And you've got this super duper special awesome gift and it's scanning right now it's going to actually take a picture of my fabric and bring it right up on the screen and digitize it for you and you'll see this one is faster cleaner because there's not a lot of background into it the background the darker backgrounds um it's just hard. it takes more time to get a really good clean look on that so So there's my fabric, and, and we're out digitizer piece. But you can see that this piece does it too. I'm going to limit it to ten colors, although I could do a lot more. Ten is ample, 
and I'm just going to tell it to go ahead and do it. When you say remove background, that means it doesn't stitch the white background. And it's actually ready. So let's go here. Well, now, why are we stopping and think about this for a minute, I guess? Let's see. There we go. There we go. Is that beautiful? So here is my finished one. Uh, it looks like I might have gone back in and added a little color, or it could be that the darkness of my room. I have a very, very dark room right now. I have blackout curtains on my windows and just have fake lighting, and that will make a difference also. But I did want you to see what a gorgeous, gorgeous job that that can do. I want you to see another new trick that is new with the 1055X. And it's something that I've wished for in the past, but we didn't have it. And now I'm in love. So I'm going to just choose the letter C. We're going to do a little monogram here. So I'm going to add, I'm going to choose from the same alphabet. I'm going to do my initials because those are the ones I have stitched out. And... I'll move them apart. There we go. And I can line them up. You can select them here and have them all lined up, but I'm not going to worry about that. I just want you to see this way cool feature. Although maybe lining them up would be a way cool feature too. Let's see. Let's just ask it to select them. And line them up. There we go. There we go. Now, this is the feature that I find so, so, so exciting. I'm going to go one more page and I'm going to come to this guy. And these are just the colors in my design. So it's pretty exciting. There's the letter C and there's the outline. And there's the khaki, and I don't want to stitch that. And there's the vermilion. And there's the green. And there's the blue. Ooh, I think I like that better. Now I'm going to skip the S because I want it to stay the same. But I'm going to come over here. And now I'm working on the letter A. And let's get, let's get rid of the sky blue. See if I'm in the right letter. Yep, I am and the green, and the red. Well, I must have missed that one, huh? There we go. So the point of this is that you can take something and delete the colors and turn it into an entirely different thing. So here is what it looks like now. And I think that this is a little bit more, well, for me, it depends on your taste. For me, this is a little bit more impactful because I made the S the full size and then I shrunk the other two initials. So it looks more like a real traditional monogram. And you have the, the beautiful excitement of the center one and the little the two on the side are just kind of quiet. And then, yes, I did do the quilting because this is new in the machine in the 1055X is the new quilting program. Um, it only goes up to 118 inches by 118 inches, which is kind of really gigantic king size bed hanging down to the floor um, and beyond. But uh, and it starts at a very, very small size. I think you can start at about four and a half inches and then just vary whatever you need to get to that right place. So what do you think, folks? Are there questions about what we've done? Colleen, I just have to say, 
I've had these two machines and I'm getting so many ideas from you. So thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you for that excellent demonstration. Maureen says, I'm in awe. Yes, I agree. Um, so we did get a question. Um, if um, Is that last feature that you just showed available on the Luminaire, the taking out certain portions of the design? Well, yes, but you don't delete them like that on the Luminaire because you would just simply skip a color. The, and so it's really easy on the Luminaire. The problem is on the 10 needle, most of us set it up and we walk away and we're not there. <laughs> oh, we forgot to talk about the baby monitor app that's available for these two machines. <laughs> yes, I call it the baby that. monitor app. Them, but but it's called know, my stitch monitor. <laughs> but, that, but on the Luminaire, you just simply, um, you know, don't stitch those colors because you're pretty much there to change the color anyway. On this guy, I'm not there to change a color. He just goes on his own. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. guys, do not miss your chance on these two amazing machines. Let's bring up the 1055 uh, slide here. So, I and forgot to say 1055 in person. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, um, with this machine, from now through April 5th, when you purchase from allbrands.com, we have retail stores in Louisiana and Texas. You can get the cap equipment. So embroider your own caps. Imagine if you're um, doing this as a side business, how your machine can make revenue for you. Um, you also um, get the stand with that. So it comes with the Brother New Style um, stand. It's an amazing, amazing stand because it's got all the little nooks and crannies to hang your hoops on and, and put your accessories underneath to store for quick access, which is great. Um, it, it's on wheels, so you can roll it around when you need to. You can combine that with 72 months, 0% financing through Synchrony Financial. Plus, you get a rebate from Brother for the seven piece Durkee Frames combo pack. And then you see, I mean, it's hard to tell all the things that come with this just from the ad. It says, and the playbook for this machine. Um, oh. So that is an amazing, amazing deal. Do not miss your chance. If you are interested in this machine, maybe you have like a earlier model and you wanna trade in to, um, to get into the, the newest model just contact us and we'll let you know um, what's available there. And this, just to recap for everyone for the XP2, um, that was the one that we showed originally in the beginning. Um, this is the sewing and embroidery combination machine. It has a um, 10 5 8 by 16 inch embroidery area. It's an amazing quilting machine. I own both. They're both wonderful for different things. Um, 72 months, 0% financing, the thread set, and a rebate for a laptop, which is, you can use that to download more Disney designs from ibroidery.com to put into your machine. You can uh, use softwares if you want to, but you don't have to because you can make your own designs in the machine and it's so fun. So, um, so yeah, so how do you purchase? If you're interested in this machine, give us a call and we can transfer you to your closest all brands retailer. Um, and we'll bring up the slide for um, our locations throughout Louisiana and Texas that are honoring this special until April 5th. So Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana, Slidell, Louisiana, San Antonio, Texas, Houston, Texas, and New Orleans, Louisiana. So, um, I hope that you make the decision to get into the machine of your dreams today. So, yeah. What do you think about that, Colleen? I think it's a dream boat of a machine and I'm like you, I need both of them. I love my Luminaire, I love the Disney, but boy, oh boy, when it's time to do a t-shirt or a onesie or a sleeve, then, then the 10 needle and I are just the best of friends. 
<laughs> Carrie says, this has been one of the best sessions I've attended in a long time. And Aww. Sally, thanks for watching. She loves our San Antonio crew. And when you purchase a machine from All Brands, you are trained on that machine by the salesperson or a guide instructor. So you will not be left in the cold. Um, even though these machines are super easy to use, um, you will be um, shown how to operate the machines when you purchase them from us. And I remember you saying the playbook word when you were talking about the PR. Yes, it comes with the PR playbook. Okay, that's which is kind of like having me come and sit beside you at your house. <laughs> yes. Almost. <laughs> so can you explain what the playbook is, Colleen? It's a book that is designed to guide you through exercises that will help you learn the machine. So everything is literally one icon, one direction. So you see the machine icon to touch, you touch it. And it steps you through until you complete the process. There's uh, exercises so that you can create a, pro on a project. There's videos, additional videos be above and beyond the million that are on the machine. But it, it's really, really well done. Yeah. Very well done. Well, thank you so much, Colleen. And I didn't forget, we are doing our $100 allbrands.com e-gift card. So let us know uh, what you thought of this presentation today. Uh, like and share it with your friends. Subscribe. And um, <laughs> Linda, I think Linda is, is so great. She's gotten, uh, she's been very active uh, throughout this uh, presentation. And um, I hope, Linda, that you get the machine of your dreams because it's definitely changed my life. Um, I'm a much happier person now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I must say. Well, my husband's <laughs> already told me that at some point we're going to live in a motorhome. And I said, where does the PR go? I already could figure out where the luminaire went. And he said, oh, don't goodness. worry, I've, I've got a place. Oh, good. <laughs> He's a keeper. <laughs> All right. So I, I wanted to let everyone know if you love my design center or if you just are wanting to learn more, um, we are having a, uh, a Barbara Jones uh, is coming on the show. She's a brother national educator, and that will be next Thursday at same time, same station, I guess you can say. Barbara um, is totally excellent. Yes, I agree. <laughs> she is totally excellent. All right. So I have Jordan in the background. We are going to show on the screen a random, um, we're going to choose a commenter today. And so Jordan, let's have a drum roll, please. And who's our winner? Sally. Thank you. I've learned more than just trying to follow the manual. Oh, Wonderful. Sally, congratulations. You have won a $100 allbrands.com e-gift card that we give every week in our videos. So stay tuned. If you didn't win today, um, join us next Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Daylight. Sorry. It is daylight outside. Thank you. Um, it is now. <laughs> I love it. The flowers are blooming. It's Gorgeous. We're just so happy. So congratulations. Email me at events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number, and I'll get that e-gift card uh, sent right over to you. So thank you so much, Colleen. Thank you for having me. It was a fun day. It's always fun having you on the show. I always enjoy being there with you. Yeah. And I hope everyone watching has a wonderful day. Go, go out there do things that make you happy, like being creative, sewing, being crafting and, and um, just exploring new possibilities and, and, um, and all of that. And we love you so much. And we hope to see you again next Friday. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>